Right then guys, welcome back to my next video. This time we're looking at the Metal DT24 Premium version with RGB. And as you know, I love my RGB. So we'll get into directly now to what comes in the box, what socket it's compatible with and so forth. So make sure you continue to watch. Benchmark Cinebench R23, Cinebench R20, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. Now, this time I'm not gonna show the idles because the idle don't actually mean anything. You guys are here to see what max it does on the 5900X. So, here we go for Cinebench R23, the max of the max thermal hit was 62 Celsius, Cinebench R20 was 63 Celsius, Blender Classroom was max at 63 Celsius. Blender BMW was a max at 62 Celsius and 3D Mark CPU test was a max at 68 Celsius. Okay then, so my overall thoughts. I honestly think it's a very nice air cooler. The overall design is similar to the 24 base, but it's obviously got the RGB effect on top. Now, what I will say is the mounting is a little bit complicated i said this in my previous video about the dt24 base now yes the mounting's a little bit complicated they could have made it a little bit easier but the good things is they utilize the back plate not every brand will and that's where people get mixed up or they make mistakes now except for the mountain the, the performance is there this cooler According to this cooler, it says 270 watts. Now, the 5900X is 105 watts. And during my testing, it did go up to 140 watts. So, it, at least it does, it will tame 140 watt CPU. Now, what I will be doing in the future now is after these videos, there's another video coming after on Saturday. It's this versus the Phantom Spirit SE120. And then two are going to go head to head. But what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to start adjusting the voltage and sliders in the BIOS to see what the air coolers I receive off other brands are capable of. 
Now I didn't want to do it with this particular one because I didn't do it with the base and it's not fair if I do it with this and not with that. So for now it's my normal testing but in the future I will make sure to at least put a higher wattage on the CPU while doing my reviews. Now overall Montec, I really do like the design, the overall quality is there. The I will make sure to put the price, sorry I haven't looked up the price, I've been so busy getting this video out and doing other things. Overall if I was to buy a CPU cooler, if I hadn't have tested the rest of the CPU coolers I've got here, then I would definitely recommend it and I would definitely pay it pay the money myself. Now, overall, I'd like to thank Montec for sending both CPU coolers out. And I re obviously, I appreciate it of them. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave me a comment. What CPU cooler do you want to see go up against next? I've got a lot of Thermorite coolers. I've got Be Quiet, Bits Power, Noctua, Silent, uh, Silent PC, Montec. So, hit me down in the comments on what videos you want to see. And this is Richard from Welshie Tech. Good. Bye.